Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Um, before I just start the video, if we, if you do enjoy these type of videos, uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the start button right here and see what we get ourselves into here. And yeah, so welcome to the full stack engineer path. So we'll see what we're going to learn in this career path. So welcome to the full stack engineer career path. In this path, you will encounter all of the major technology technologies that a full stack developer should know. You will gain foundation in JavaScript programming, be able to use front end technologies like HTML, CSS, React, and then build secure backends with no slash express and then postgres sql we'll also make sure to prepare you for those uh, technical interviews you'll encounter once you begin your job hunt so after this path you'll be able to set up your own development environment and version control uh, work with git and github write client side and server side javascript code create static responsive websites using uh, HTML and CSS, use the popular React front-end framework along with Redux. And then we'll also build um, Node and Express backends, uh, design and build Postgres bit databases, and then connect the front-end uh, to a backend for a full stack uh, Pern application. And then we'll also implement best security practices to prevent attacks and then pass a JavaScript white, whiteboard interview. So we have the syllabus pages. We've created two types of syllabus pages to help guide you through this journey. You've already navigated to this article from the first type, the career path syllabus. You can use this career path syllabus to see all the topics you'll need to know to become a full stack engineer or as a tracker for what you've learned and will continue to learn. And from there, you can click on one of the topics listed on the right uh, to access the second type of syllabus, the unit syllabus. Now, the unit syllabus is your go-to guide to your current unit. Each unit is a major topic um, we teach in smaller chunks of content. Each unit syllabus contains what we teach, or er, contains expandable and collapsible lists of all of those lessons. For example, in our fundamentals of HTML unit, we include a lesson on base, basic HTML syntax and practice content via a quiz and a project. We recommend looking at the current unit syllabus before you start coding for the day. Now, uh, I'm gonna skip this, but projects. So you will demonstrate your uh, knowledge in several portfolio projects that exist throughout the path. Portfolio projects are projects that you build with your computer uh, following a set of requirements. Each one will be unique to your personal vision and set of interests. You can complete the portfolio projects either in para parallel or after taking the prerequisite contents. It's up to you. Here's a preview of the projects featured in the path. So mixed messages. So we need to build a node.js console app that generates random messages each time a user runs a program and version on uh, your project with git slash github personal portfolio project so we'll use html css and github pages to build a personal portfolio site a static website where you can share your other projects and then Reddit client, so use JavaScript, React, Redux, and the Reddit API to build an online forum containing real life data. That's crazy. Okay. And then uh, the e commerce site has two parts to it 
over the course of two parts, build a full stack web, pay, web app where users can purchase products using the Pern stack. Basically, uh, Postgres, SQL, Express, React, and Node. Then the open-ended project, use everything you've learned to build an app of your choosing. So you can build this if you want. Certification exams. We've added exams to help you assess your proficiency as you build toward your job ready skills. Here's how they will work. You'll find exams on your full stack career path syllabus page at the end of each section. Each exam that assesses your knowledge of, of the concepts and technologies learned in that section. Exams help verify your proficiency so you can feel confident in your abilities as you build toward a new career. Each exam has two parts. The first is a multiple choice and fill in the blink, and the second part is coding questions when applicable to the material. Otherwise, you'll, continue, you'll encounter additional multiple choice and fill in the blank questions. Score at least 70% on both parts to, of the exam to pass. If you don't pass, no worries. You can retake exams once every 24 hours. So taking or passing exams is not required to complete the path and exams do not factor into your po uh, progress percentage. However, exams must be completed and passed to earn your Code Academy professional certification. That means you can now skip past content you're already familiar with and still earn a Code Academy professional certification. Curated content. Now, Throughout this path, you may see some items that aren't made by the Code Academy team. We've included these to ensure that you learn all of the topics you need to get your career started. Though we didn't write them, we vetted, our, vetted them, them ourselves for technical accuracy and good teaching practices. When possible, we've written relevant assessments so you can check your understanding back on our platform. Since we strive to bring you the best and most up-to-date content, we'll be per periodically updating the materials in the path. For smaller updates, we'll be committing changes via the web development change log, which features updates and bug fixes from all web development content. For larger changes, we'll write a blog post detailing the extent of those changes and how they impact the syllabi. If you're enrolled in this path, we'll send a notification each time there's been an update so you know exactly what's been changed. So we're excited. I'm excited too. And then in the next uh, video, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.